decided to go on an adventure today. Uh, I've lived in Utah my whole life. Never been to the Spiral Jetty. So here we go. It's gonna be a good trip. It's about an hour away. Um, came and grabbed a little bite to eat. Our favorite restaurant. Love this place. This place is awesome. It's a, uh, ooh. Spiderweb Shades, thanks for the uh, sun top. You guys make a great product. Okay, we're out of here. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be we made it. Am I still on time lapse? Nope, I'm not. We made it. Spiral Jetty is right behind this dude's van. Right there. The kids have already run down there to go check it out. I'm really surprised to have water this close to it. It's like a little marker up here. We'll, we'll hike up there and we'll take a gander at it. Uh, here's your trail. <laughs> Just a bunch of rocks. Coming? Come that way. Okay, you go that way. Let me meander down these. Oh, not too bad. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is all like lava rock down in here. Kind of cool. Um, it's got a really different sound when you walk on it. Now you look at a nook shook. Right there on that little rock right there. A little teeny one. Huh? I see it now. Yeah. Pretty cool. The back countries of Utah. Hi guys. Someone's made this cute little mini version of it. This one goes clear out. Starts there, goes out and spins around. Normally in like spring, it's all be water. It's really soft underneath this. It's funky to walk on. I wonder what my kids have found. Let's go find out. The little boy brings me this. It's a sock. <laughs> I thought it was a rock. But it uh, looks just like that one. It's all salt and crusted and nasty. Jeez. This is wet and my kids say it's hot. Oh, weird. Oh, what? Look at this. Oh, it smells bad. <laughs> smells like dead fish. Phew. My little boy was walking and just stepped in this huge hole like he couldn't even see it. And it's only, it's only right there. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Watch me step in one now because I'm that was a jerk. <laughs> it was my fault. Well, this is the, uh, now the shoreline of the Great Salt Lake. And it goes all the way down there. All the way out there. It's huge. This is, uh, this is one of the major factors in Utah's snow is this body of water. And it's, it's really low. In high tide seasons, that water, is up to the shoreline. Like you don't see the spiral jetty. Um, just on the other side of these mountains is Ogden. 
Okay, that's Great Salt Lake. I want to say that's Antelope Island. Let's see, am I pointing right? Where's my zoom? Right there. Let's see if I can zoom in any on it. Somewhere right there is Antelope. A ways down to the south of us is the Bonneville Salt Flats. Where they hold all the speed record races. This is crazy. I've never, I can't believe I've never been here. Oh, cool. Glad my shoes are waterproof. <laughs> yeah, there's a feather. Major, major migratory path. What'd you find? Oh, for real? Another thing that's uh, very abundant in this water, and the only thing that's abundant in this water, other than salt content, is brine shrimp. Um, oh, look. Look at this. It's a goliath moth. It's like petrified. That's a goliath moth that's petrified? Yeah, like the salt. It's like cured. Crazy. Oh, I'm sinking. Uh, when we drove out, we drove past Northrop Grumman. I'll, uh, I'll video it when we get back, but uh, where they do all a lot of rocket tests uh, to push, uh, you know, it's boosters to get ships into space. They test them right here. I've been to a couple of those, and those are really cool. And then, uh, oh, yeah, look at this. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then on the other end, uh, we went past the historic Golden Spike Monument. Hopefully everybody knows the story of that, where the east and west rails met. Right here. Been to that one. In the winter, they have a really cool festival called the Steam Festival. And they bring out steam engines. And uh, it's cool to see them running them cold and really see that steam uh, warm up the air. And It's quite the show. Good times. They have like a little putt-putt. Um, train thing and uh, run it down up and down the track and it's, it's really cool but yeah I need to explore my state a little more I've been here for 38 years and I haven't seen a whole lot other than where I live Moab. and other places soon we're going to Moab and you're going with us that ought to be fun I'm excited for that here we are in the center of the spiral jetty and we're going to walk out of it I was in the middle of doing a time lapse and my kids are like, I found a lizard. Oh, there he is, right there. Right there. Go move. Okay. So this little sucker's hard to catch. He's right there. Oh, caught him again. Don't squish him. Don't squish him. Yeah. Was it careful? Got his tail. Oops. It's okay. Oops. Had to be all gangster and tag this place. <laughs> came down, we now get to go back up. Usually up's a slightly easier than down, just kids will be all over it. <laughs> One's already whining. Uh-oh. Got a whiny kid over here. There's that marker up there. I'm gonna hike up to it and see what it says. And another one. So lizards are everywhere. All right, here we go. cool all the way out there 
All right, well, that's our trip out to Spiral Jetty. Well, if you come to Utah, you can come check this out for yourself. Don't just watch my video. Watch my video and then come check it out as well. This is Golden Spike National Historic Site. It's pretty cool, pretty fun to come to. Uh, one thing I didn't know is there's an auto tour we went. You can you don't even have to get out of your car and go anywhere. So there's an east and a west. Oh, there's an east and a west auto tour? Oh. Yeah, I didn't know any of that. So anyway, there's that. That's where the trains met right there, and they do a big reenactment every year. It's a big, big to do. Uh, how many years was it this year? 150? Oh, yeah. 150 years. That's where the rocket test is. You can see that it blows up against the side of the hill there. Yeah, pretty cool to come out and witness a rocket booster test. It's, uh, you wouldn't think it's that intense, but it's, you can feel the heat, you can feel the sound, you can feel everything. It is, it is really impressive to watch that test.